Warning, what you're about to see is highly classified, extremely dangerous and potentially hilarious. Proceed with caution. Or not, we're not responsible for any damage caused by excessive laughter or spontaneous hacking attempts. Today we're tackling the infamous Van Hub Mr. Robo Box. Because who doesn't want to hack like Elliot Alderson, right? Just don't tell Darlene we said that. The following content is for educational and ethical purposes only. Hacking without permission is illegal and unethical. Always respect the privacy and security of other systems. The Black Spot Network and its creators are not responsible for any misuse of this information provided. Now let's get started and see if we can make Mr. Robo proud, or at least not get caught. Okay, now let's fire up the browser and head over to Vulnhub. This website is a treasure trove of downloadable vulnerable machines for ethical hacking practice. Whoa, look at that. Mr. Robot is right at the top of the search results. Guess it's a popular choice and no wonder. The show was epic. There it is. Before you grab the file, there's always a good idea to read through the box description. It's like a mini guy telling you what to expect and what tools you might need. Here it says there are three flags to find and it's totally beginner friendly, which is perfect for getting your hacking legs warmed up. Now, this is super important. This is the SHA-1 hash, a digital fingerprint for the download file. Always double check this to make sure the file you are downloading hasn't been tampered with. Alright, let's verify that our download is safe. We'll use the shasam a 256mrrobot.over command here in the terminal. This command basically compares the SHA-1 hash we got from the download page with the actual downloaded file. If they match, we're good to go. And look at right here. The SHA-1 hash matches the one from the download page. Our download's clean. Alright, let's get Mr. Robot's playground up and running. This part's easier than escaping a social media rabbit hole. See this beauty? That's you. That's your Mr. Robot over file. Just chilling in your downloads or wherever you got it safe. Double click it and let the magic happen. There it is. VirtualBox is rearing its head. Now the only customization necessary is, wait for it, a name change. Because who wants a generic machine name? Right? Let's call it Mr. Robot with a little flair, just like your awesome hacker name. Oh, and network settings. They are like the secret handshake of hackers. I'm sticking with Bridge today, but you might need to adjust that depending on your home network setup. All right, Mr. Robot is all configured and ready to roll. Click that stop button or double click on your box and let's see what vulnerabilities are lurking within. Remember, with great hacking power comes great responsibilities to crack some jokes along the way. All right, people, time to find Mr. Robot hiding out on your network. Let's use a handy tool called AppScan to sniff him out. For those new to the hacking scene, AppScan is like a digital detector scanning our network for active devices. The hyphen L gives us a more detailed list, perfect for identifying our target. Look at that. We got some juicy info here. See these IP addresses? Those are the devices connected to our network. First one, 192.168.43.1. That one looks familiar. My gut feeling tells me that's probably the gateway, the central router controlling the traffic flow. Now this second one is interesting, 192.168.43.55. This wasn't here before we fired up Mr. Robot. Coincidence? I think not. This is a strong lead and it smells suspiciously like our target. Maybe Mr. Robo forgot his usual alias and just went with a random string of numbers. Either way, this is a strong contender for our hidden box. Let's keep digging. Alright, with a strong suspect in mind, let's deploy another hacking weapon. And now, think of it as our digital x-ray machine, helping us see what's going on inside this mysterious box. The nmap command is a hacker's best friend. Today we're using the hyphen, small letter s, capital letter t flag for a quick TCP scan. This will reveal what ports are open on the target IP, which is, you guessed it, 192.168.43.55, our prime suspect. Whoa, hold the phone, look at this, nmap spilling the tea, and it looks like this box has a few secrets. We got two open ports here, like two unlocked doors begging to be explored. Port 80 and 443. Those scream web server to me. Maybe Mr. Robo forgot to put his website on lockdown. And then we have this one lone wolf up here. Port 22. All closed up. Looks like Mr. Robot at least put a lock on his SSH entrance. But hey, one step at a time. 
right? Two open ports are a good start for our recon mission. All right, MMAP spilled the beans and it looks like Mr. Robot is running a website. Let's fire up Firefox and see what this web server is all about. Whoa, hold on a seat. This website is amazing. Whoever designed this is a freaking genius. Look at this dark theme. The whole Mr. Robot vibe, it totally sets the mood for some hacking adventures. So here we've got Mr. Robot himself welcoming us, some cryptic messages, and hey, look at that, a list of commands. Now I won't spoil the surprise for you guys, but trust me, exploring these commands is half the fun of this box. They might just lead you down some interesting rabbit holes. Alright, let's dig a little deeper. We saw a cool website, but what if there's more hidden beneath the surface? Time to unleash a powerful tool called Derb. Think of it as a digital archaeology helping us unearth hidden directories on this web server. Derb works by throwing a bunch of potential directory names at the website, like throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. It takes a while, so I actually pre-ran this command and save the results. Look at all this information. Derb found a whole bunch of stuff. But remember, more isn't always better. We're looking for a specific treasure, the robots.txt file. Aha, there it is, robots.txt. This little file is like a secret map for search engines, telling them which parts of the website to ignore. But for ethical hackers, it can sometimes be a treasure trove of clues. Alright, back to Mr. Robot's website, we bring with us the robots.txt file we found with Derp. It might hold some juicy secrets. Robots.txt file are like little treasure maps for hackers. They tell search engines which files to avoid, but sometimes they accidentally reveal hidden paths too. Let's see what Mr. Robot left for us. Whoa, hold on a sec, look at that. Looks like Mr. Robot wasn't so careful with his treasure map after all. We got key one of three dot text right here, staring us in the face. And what's this FSO city dot dick business? Sounds like some F society shenanigans. First, let's see what this key unlocks. There it is, a string of random characters. Looks like this is our first flag, folks. Key number one of three, the hunt is officially on. But hold your horses, there are two more flags to find. Alright, so we got our first flag, but Mr. Robot clearly left another clue. F so city dot dick. What is this F Society dictionary business? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on to your heads, people. Looks like this isn't just a simple web page. The moment we entered fsocity.dick, it downloaded a file automatically. That's some serious hacker trickery right there. All right, let's see what this downloaded file is all about. We should find fsocity.dick hanging out here in our downloads. Interesting. The fsocity.dick file seems like a word list. We got a bunch of words here, some random numbers sprinkled in, and even some repeated entries. Hmm. Those repeated words might not be important, but the wrist this looks like prime dictionary attack material we won't use it right away but let's save this fsocity.dig file for later it might come in handy when we need to crack some codes or brute force some loggings after all a hacker is always prepared all right let's revisit the treasure trove derb provided see all these wp mentions those are like breadcrumbs leading us somewhere in particular this wp-login.php definitely rings a bell the wp-login.php file usually points to a word list logging page. WordPress is a popular content management system and if Mr. Robot is using it, well this could be an interesting turn of events. Let's see if our suspicions are correct. Here goes nothing. Whoa, look at that. It is a WordPress login page. Username and password fields classic setup. Now, what to do? What to do. In ethical hacking, we never try to brute force logins with default credentials. But for educational purposes only, let's just say some beginners might be tempted to try the classic admin username and admin password combination. See, denied. Just as expected, default credentials are a big no-no in the hacking world. There's almost always a stronger password protecting the system. Alright, so the default logging was a no-go, but there's a silver lining. The error message didn't say invalid username and password. That might be a clue. In some systems, the error message changes slightly if you enter the correct username but the wrong password. This is where Burp Suite comes in handy. Our pocket sniffing sidekick. With Burp Suite, we can intercept the logging request and see what information gets sent to the server. Let's set the stage for our username recon mission. First things first, we need to make sure our browser talks through Burp Suite. This way, Burp Suite can eavesdrop on all communications between our browser and the website. Alright, with Burp Suite listening in, it's 
time to try some login attempts. We'll use a random username and password for now, just to see what happens. Uh huh. Look at that. Burp Suite did its job perfectly. It captured the login request like a spider snags a fly in its worm. Now comes in the real fun part: dissecting this request and potentially using it to our advantage. Burp Suite has a built-in tool called Intruder. That's perfect for this situation. It lets us modify parts of the request, like the username, and send it repeatedly. Think of it as an automated way to try out a whole bunch of usernames at once. All right. This login request has different parts, like parameters. We're interested in the log parameter, which most likely carries the username. Let's tell Burp Suite Intruder to focus on this username parameter by highlighting it and clicking on end. Now remember that fsocity.dig file we downloaded earlier? Let's load it up in the payloads. With our fsocity.dig word list loaded, Burp Suite Intruder is like a password guessing machine. Ready to try out all these usernames one by one, Burp Suite start the attack. <laughs> Alright, Burp Suite Intruder is doing its magic. Look at all these attempted usernames. It's like watching a hacker rapid fire testing usernames against the web server hoping one unlocks the door. But wait a minute, something interesting here. Most of these entries have a similar length, like a code of some sort, except for this one. Elia, it stands out with a different length. This is getting interesting. Could Elia be the username we're looking for? Let's take a closer look. Here's the response for the Elliot username attempt. Now this is where things get tricky. See this error message? It says the password you entered for the username Elliot is incorrect. Uh huh. This is a crucial clue. The error message specifically mentions Elliot as a username. This is strong evidence that Elliot might be the username we want. Now back to our terminals, we want to perform a brute force attack to find the password. But remember, our fsocity.dig file has so many duplicates that could slow us down. Let's see how many words we have. With the wc command, we can see there are a total of more than 800,000 words. To speed things up, let's remove any duplicates. We can use the sort-u command to achieve this. Here's the command. cat fsocity.dig pipe sort-u greater than sign dsocity.txt. This command takes the contents of fsocity.dig, sorts them, removes duplicates using the hyphen u flag, and then saves the result in a new file called dsocity. Txt. Now let's check the word count after duplication with wc dsocity.txt. Alright folks, username secured, password list trimmed and ready. Time to unleash the WP scan beast. Let's see if this WordPress site can withstand the fury of our thorough security evaluation. <laughs> no pressure website. <laughs> No pressure. Let's put the Mr. Robot web server through its paces with a little security assessment using WP scan, where Elliot as the username and dsocity.txt as our password list and voila. We've discovered the best login credentials for Elliot to access the Mr. Robot WordPress dashboard. Now that we're inside the WordPress dashboard, let's explore. There might be hidden clues or secrets scattered around, but for this exercise, we'll focus on the appearance section, specifically the editor for error templates. This is where we can potentially find vulnerabilities or test custom code. On our terminal, let's locate php-re and cat the web shell reverse php script. Copy it and back in our browser, paste the reverse shell code in the error template. Now the only changes we make are IP address to match your machine's IP and port address 2443, commonly used for secure connections. By strategically placing the malicious code, we can trigger an error and potentially execute our code on the server. You might use a tool like Netcat acting like a digital bartender waiting for someone to order a drink. Back on the browser will trigger an error by adding gibberish to the end of the URL and BAM! We created a backdoor to the Mr. Robot web server. Now back on our terminals, we type in who am I to see who we are logged in as. Turns out we're a demon. Not exactly the most informative username, but hey, it's a start. Next, let's try to see what files are around with ls. Take a peek into the root directory with cd, but oh, oh, permission denied. Looks like we don't have admin access there. Let's try cd into home directory. Here we see a couple of interesting files, a second key and a password.raw-md5. Let's try view the key with cat. And nope, we again are denied access. Why is that? Let's use 
command ls hyphen l a s h it appears we don't have reading rights for the key but the password file that one we can see cat the password it's just a jumble of letters and numbers this looks like a good candidate for brute forcing with a tool like crack station let's copy the hash paste it into crack station hit crack hashes and voila Turns out the password was just an alphabet and cracking it didn't even take that long. All right, hackers, here's where things get interesting. We want to try switching users with SU, the super user switcher. Totally not a made up name, but alas, it seems like we can only run this from a terminal. Bummer. Fear not, we have a nifty little Python script in our back pocket. Think of it as a magic key that unlocks a new shell session. Just follow along. Easy as pie, right? Now, with this shiny new shell, let's try that SU robot command again. Fingers crossed and password prompt appears. Now, all we have to do is insert that alphabet password, paste that in, hit enter, and voila. Did it work? Well, let's just say we no longer anonymous users. Who are we? We robot, of course. All right, hackers, let's see what secrets that second key holds. Let's cat key again, and boom. We snag another piece of the puzzle. High fives all around. But wait, there's more. We're still missing one key to unlock the ultimate treasure. Trying to brute force our way into the root directory with CD root is a no go. Those security guards are on high alert. Fear not, fellow code sleuths. We have a special command in our arsenal to sniff out hidden things. This one's called find will follow along on your screens. Now don't worry about memorizing that gibberish. Think of it as a magic spell that reveals powerful files on a system. Let's see what this spell unveils. All right, hackers, buckle up. We got a list of files, some more suspicious than others. Let's face it, not all files are created equal. We're looking for that one special gem, the one that holds the key to ultimate power, literally in this case. And what do you know? We spot a file named Nmap, the networking tool we all know and maybe sometimes misuse. Let's head over to our trusty browser and fire up GTFO bins. In it, we type Nmap, and wouldn't you know it, a treasure trove of information appears. Now, there might be a few options listed, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's focus on option B. Because who doesn't love a good option B, right? Back on our terminal, fingers flying across the keyboard, let's type Nmap hyphen hyphen interactive and hit enter. Now things are about to get interesting. Let's type shebang sh and press enter once more. Poof. The dollar sign vanishes replaced by a fancy hashtag. Looks like we've switched gears. Time to verify our newfound power. Let's unleash the mighty who am I command. And drum roll please. We're officially root. Root directory here we come. With a swift cd root and a pick with ls we find our final key just waiting to be claimed. Let's cap the key file and and there you have it folks, the third flag is ours. We've conquered this virtual mountain or server, whatever. Phew, that was a doozy wasn't it? We've infiltrated firewalls, cracked passwords, and outsmarted security systems like a boss. Now, if you excuse me, I think my brain needs a vacation. But seriously, you've all done an amazing job conquering this Mr. Robot challenge. Remember, this is just the beginning of your ethical hacking journey. Keep learning, keep exploring, and keep the bad guys out. Now, if you excuse me, I have a date with a giant cup of coffee.